Hi, I'm Sean and this is my channel Shockworks and today we're going to be talking about this uh, grater behind me here and uh, another one. Uh, one behind me here is a 503G and a 503L. As you can tell by looking at it here, uh, there's a lot of issues with this one. We ended up uh, driving by it for a couple of months. It was sitting outside a mechanic shop and uh, lo and behold, there's no motor in it. The uh, guy was uh, working on it and the clutch was going out on the, the unit all the time. And the uh, reason behind that is somebody repowered it, I'm assuming from a gas, to a 353 Screaming Jimmy. And apparently this was their idea of how to uh, make an adapter and an extension and try to match it up. Anyway, the shafts were misaligned by three quarters to one inch, like you could plainly see it clear as day with your icrometer. And this was their adapter up here for spacing between the two. Apparently the 353 Screaming Jimmy runs just fine, but uh, bell housings are different. One was a three and the other one's a four. And uh, I think it's gonna be easier if a guy just puts the four in there the way it should be. See by all the parts in the grader here and uh, it's going to be a project, uh, a little bigger project than I thought we were going to have, but uh, we're going to repower with something. I got uh, something cooking that I want to put in here, it needs a rebuild, but uh, it'll be interesting. Let's leave it at that, see if you guys can uh, guess in the comments what I'm going to repower it with. So as you can tell by these pictures here, the uh, grader was dead. Had no way of getting it up on the trailer other than winching it. We had to uh, chain the blade up. They tied it up with a rope originally when they took it apart there at the mechanics. We ended up having to suck it up with a chain hoist there and tie a chain on it, get it to load, swing it over manually on the circle. And uh, you can see where the clutch disc and all that was on the transmission there. I guess these transmissions are bad for bearings going out if people idle them without moving it. And it's also got the shaft in there to drive a hydraulic pump off the front case there but it's been uh, changed out already for a crankshaft style hydraulic pump. So that's a bonus already. I think she's got a lot of potential and uh, life left in her there. It just needs a little bit of loving to get her going. Five hundred three G was sitting around here. Uh, needed a, a grader for a bunch of work up on the shop here. And I stumbled across this one at an auction, uh, running, driving. Got uh, lots of quirks on it. It's going to need some loving here in the near future. It's got the uh, International UD236 in here. It's got uh, some glow plug issues. Uh, you gotta go through to all the filters and fluids and everything on it. And uh, the other thing, it's got uh, brakes on all four axles here. However, they're full of air. I don't know. I can see or not on the back here. It's covered in dirt there. Somebody uh, broke the bleed screw off on there. There's a bunch of air in the system. And, uh, changed the master cylinder on it and nobody bled it out because of that. It's kind of a little scary when you pump the brakes three times before you get any stoppage. And on the bottom here, the driveline brake, the seal's gone on it. 
and it's pretty uh, pretty useless there too. So gonna have to do something to address that. Something really neat about this unit here is it's got side shift on the blade. Well, that's pretty cool. And it's got the ripper tooth assembly. It's chained up for now. We got the hydraulics off on the uh, ram up here. To run the tilt on the mold board. Somebody added on, so they're using that spool for that. And it's also got the blade on the front here. Don't know if it's all factory or not, but uh, that's what she is. And it's got the square body cab. Looks a little more modern than the 503G. Gonna be doing a bunch of lighting on it and uh, wiring. Uh, got to fix a bunch of welds and stuff. I went through and started uh, looking at some stuff here, and some of the repairs are okay. Some of them aren't. Uh, there's some cracks and stuff that need to be addressed in spots. I went through and marked with paint marker. So, so a few odds and sods, some broken lock washers. We'll be fixing the uh, pivots for the ball sockets, adding some more grease zerks. And uh, going through changing a bunch of hoses and fixing some hydraulic leaks in the valve body. The, uh, Interior is a little more modern, you know, for as far as like 70s go. And it's got a uh, forward reverse. Actual forward reverse uh, shuttle lever down here, whereas that 503G doesn't. So. And it's uh, hydraulic steering. It also actually has a, a ROPS on it, whereas the other one doesn't. And a bunch of the gauge cluster seems a little more organized on this one. The other one was just kind of a couple gauges and some switches thrown around here and there. And you can see some of the shiny paint and spots here. Uh, that's where it fixed a few leaks on the chain case. This one here had three different leaks on it that looked like uh, poor factory welds. That's the, the color she'll be getting painted all said and done when it's done here. So, you can say it looks like somebody added a newer master cylinder on here. Didn't get the air blood. Right, one of the first things I'll be doing is uh, changing and rewiring these glow plugs out here and then doing uh, filter, filter and fluid service. Both of these graders came with uh, new tires at least this one on the rear and uh, the other one all six all the way around on it however the tread on these things just really suck they spin like crazy and uh, got to find somewhere where i can find some uh, industrial tread on them and just uh, not doing the job well, that's going to be my my projects coming up in the near future i'm going to get uh, Going on this one, that one that's getting the, the repower there, that's going to take a bit of a back burner until I can get that thing going. But this is going to be a few projects starting on it fairly soon.
So that was a little bit of using that up at the shop there, uh, just before snow hit, trying to level that out before we put the millings down. Thanks for watching. If you uh, want to see more videos like this, please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll try to keep it coming.